Well, good morning folks and welcome to day two of the Cumbria Way. Um, we're still here in Coniston Hall, obviously. Uh, that was a bit of a night. Uh, when we went into Coniston last night, we went to one of the bars and one of the one of the barmaids was telling us that this, this campsite's kind of went run downhill a little bit. There's been a few issues here, it's not really getting policed at night and stuff like that. And last night there was a few party tents till four in the morning, unfortunately. That's not fantastic, so we didn't have a great sleep. Um, the facilities are okay, they're average, but very basic. Um, and it's £12 per night. You have to pay 50 pence for the shower as well, you need a 50 pence piece. Um, but there is like a, a wee burger van that do um, fresh made pizzas and things like that, which is fantastic, it was really, really nice. But yeah, I think we're just going to have to get in and bear it today, we're going to be tired, but that's the way it is. Luna slept okay, she's been fed, we've both, both been fed and watered, packed up, ready to go. Um, so today we are going to Great Langdale and uh, we are staying at the National Trust campsite um, just across from the old Dungeon Gill, I think it is, which I'm looking forward to because it's supposed to be really picturesque. We've actually walked there before um, doing scaffold pike from old Dungeon Gill, so we've seen some of that section, but uh, the bit that we finish off with today should be should be good. It's new to me, so that'll be good. I'm looking forward to that. We are a man down. Keith um, had a kind of existing knee injury that's been playing up and it's just gone worse with carrying the weight, so he's he's away off up the road, unfortunately, which is a shame. So just me, Jamie and Donald left for the next two days, but then we'll meet up with another few lads who are coming to meet us at Keswick. So, we're off again. Soldier on, get the backpack on and then go for it. So I'll see you on the trail. Okay folks, welcome back. It's been a wee while since uh, I spoke to you back at the campsite. We can try to kind of push on a wee bit. So we've just passed a place called Tarn House, which is a, a beautiful, um, very picturesque spot. Um, actually it would have been a great while camping that one. But it's quite busy today being a bank holiday. But, um, so far we're just over eight kilometres in, just over two hours walked. Um, we're all kind of feeling it still a little bit from yesterday. Sore feet and things like that. Jamie's got three blisters and um, I think Donald's actually okay and I've got a blister right on my big toe, right in the pad, convenient. But Luna's doing okay, she's doing fine. Um, so what have we done? Yeah, we've kind of walked through the Udale area and now we're pushing on to the Langdale area. Um, but I think we'll go through a small village called Skelwith and then um, Elterwater, I think is the next one. So just outside there is a a pub called the Wainwrights Inn, I think, and we're hoping that we can go and like pay our respects to the Queen um, before the, the, the silence starts. So we're kind of trying to push on a bit to get that done. Um, but feeling that we'll just do it on our own, and I think after that we're going to stop for some lunch. So our pace has been really good actually, we're rocking about 16 and a half minutes a kilometre, which is not bad when we're all carrying, you know, 20 kilos plus, but that's the kind of General consensus is weight is always an issue. So keeping that weight down, I obviously like all these little creature comforts, power banks and all the charging stuff and all that, but it's just expense as well, trying to, to buy the lightweight kit is very expensive, so you just got to kind of manage what you can. 
I'm obviously carrying a little bit extra with the filming and uh, Luna's kit. She's got her own sleeping bag and everything, so. Uh, but to be honest, last night I don't think she would have it, it was warm. She's actually out on top of it. So it was, it was quite warm last night. But yeah, that, that campsite, Coniston Hall, I mean, I don't want to be too harsh about it, but I mean, you're, you're paying money, you expect a, a service of some sort. It was quite poor. Um, there was nowhere to charge any electronics or anything. Um, but to be fair, it is a huge campsite, and I imagine if they had somewhere, it would just always be busy anyway. So, something to think about, that's for sure. The next campsite we're pushing on to is in Great Langdale, the National Trust campsite. So I'm hoping it's got a bit more amenities that we can use. And uh, we're going to try and get into the old dungeon gill across the road from it for some dinner tonight. Fingers crossed we can get in. It might be worth a wee phone call actually. But yeah, all good so far. Um, excuse me, we'll just push on for a couple of more K and see where we end up. But yeah, hopefully you're enjoying the views and the, the trail so far. I mean, the, the track's been great. Um, again, with the way, way markers are a bit sparse, but as long as you're keeping an eye on your map, you should be okay. The track terrain's been absolutely spot on. But yeah, I'll leave you to it now. Uh, and I'll speak to you a bit further on. So I was coming into Great Langdale, so I was pretty much near the end, we're just at just over 19 kilometres and so what we've done since the last scene here, we stopped for lunch at Scalewith Bridge, which is a cracking wee, uh, wee village, um, we ended up getting some extra lunch at a lovely kind of bakery, kind of farm shop thing, and a wee cup of coffee, that was awesome, and then we walked, uh, we walked along the water next to Scalewith Falls, which is a wee waterfall and stuff like that. Then we pushed on to Elter Water, which again is a lovely wee place as well. And uh, but the terrain's been the terrain's been decent. It's actually been much better than yesterday. Um, certainly at the end of the day yesterday, it was reminiscent of uh, the Loch Lomond side of the West Island Way, where it's all tree roots and uneven ground and whatnot. I'm gonna have to nip away. We'll get cows. Back in a second. <laughs> get a young bull here. Quite curious, and Luna's quite skittish around them, rightly so. They're, they're big animals, um, so coming past the other ones was a bit iffy. She's not happy, look at her. 
doesn't like them. So apparently you need to watch with dogs around the uh, cattle, they can yeah, the cattle can get quite um, protective of their young as well, so definitely something to be wary of. So yeah, that's what just came into great, excuse me, great Langdale campsite now. Um, we are still tired, but de definitely feeling better than yesterday. This is going to be a tight squeeze, look at this. Down, down. Oh, go first. Oh. See, I've got this sleep mat on my back, which widens my back quite considerably. But we're getting through, I'm not too wide. There we go. All these wee kissing gates, they take their toes. What's that? Oh dear. So, um, yeah, I think tonight we'll just get our tents and that set up, get it all sorted and organised, and then we're going to go over to the old dungeon guild for, for a bite to eat and a, a few sherbets. Um, today's been a good day, better than we thought. Feet are sore, no, no two ways about it. Um, so I'll be paying a bit of attention to them tonight. I think Jamie's the same. Donald's not too bad. I think his footwear's quite good. Um, Luna's just having a ball, absolutely loving it. So yeah, I'll check in with you kind of a bit later on. I'm going to see if I can get some drone footage down Great Langdale's Valley there, and uh, see if I can get that up as well. So en enjoy the rest, and I'll speak to you a bit further. Now.